What up, Facebook? Hey, honey, it's Val. It's Val and it's Thursday. It's time for Valtopia TV, honey. Let me load this up and share it around. You want to stay today, of course, as usual. It's always good. But today, it's a whole nother level. So share the live stream if you're watching this, even if you're watching the replay. And we're gonna get some energy going here and I'm bringing it through. And if you're just tuning in, watching the replay, you're like, who is this? Honey, I'm Val and you're in Valtopia now. And we're getting magnetic and abundant as fuck today. Are you ready? Hey, Linda. Hey, Jennifer. Are y'all ready? I'm gonna do an activation live today with you guys. Post a clip. Infusion, are you excited? Hey Sarah, hey Donna, yay! All my peeps are here, let's do this. Come on now. Share the stream and join us. How are you guys doing? I am officially on the other side of these eclipses. How about you? Hey Donna, how are you? Sarah's ready, yes. Let me share into Valtopia, my free group, if you haven't joined. What you doing? Get on in there. We're a good crew. Oh, I have to be magnetic and abundant as fuck. <laughs> happy camper. How are you guys feeling? You're, you're a happy camper? Yeah, everybody seems to be coming out of the fog. And we're ready for this. We're ready for this activation today. Come on. Yes, bring it. Let's let's have it. Alright, share it into my group. I'm gonna share it in my timeline and we're gonna get this energy infusion that I allowed myself to come through to you today, just say, I accept in the comments and you'll receive the, the frequencies, okay? Hey, Brian, how are you? See all the crews coming back out of the woodwork after the post-eclipse ellipse. Eclipse ellipse. Leah says, yeah, it's feeling great again after some intense. It was good, wasn't it? So I recorded for the first time Ryan's working. All right, well, if you can't receive the frequencies to full capacity right now while you're at work, then just remember to come back and watch later, right? Donna says, I accept, honey. Yes. So the, the eclipse, you know, I've been talking about it, and I've been showing up in the eclipse energy myself and feeling like that squeeze and that... That, like, you know, you squeeze out a sponge. Isn't that kind of what the eclipse does? It's like popping a zit. It's like, eh. and while you're in the squeeze, you don't really, I don't really feel my inspiration coming like it does when we're on the other side of it, when my skin is clear, when the channel is clear. In the middle, we're in this space of, eh. And I still show up as much as I, I mean, I always show up daily in written posts and art and connect with you guys, but I don't always come on live because I, I I give myself that space, right? And so I haven't, okay, Ryan, we'll see you later. He says, no, you can't do it. Okay, don't accept right now, Ryan. Accept later, post work. So um, I haven't channeled through a new audio, like a guided audio in a while. Um, not a while, but it's just been a few weeks since I did my last clearing. And I don't deliver them unless they come through truly divinely guided and, and everything. And I did this morning. I have a new one. So a lot is listening to it right now. And um, I'm going to listen to it again. And then we'll put it up on SoundCloud and decide what to do with it. Those of you who are in the Abundant and Awakened Empath group who did the business of signing up the bundle, I'm going to give it to you today in the group as a bonus. Um, and then I'll see, I'll see, you know, I'll ask my own higher wisdom who it's designed for. And, and when Rosie's back from vacation, we'll get it out there. Um, it won't be something that is highly costed. It'll be something that everybody can have access to because it was a really powerful cleansing. This energy that you're feeling is like overflow from that delivery. So when you say I accept, I want you to really feel what I felt when I delivered this recording was the deepest grounding into the earth. I mean, the energy was just running at my feet and then my whole body was tingling and it really filled each and every cell throughout my body with a whole nother boost of um, fresh perspective and energy. And really, you know, after we go, hey, what are you doing? Did you guys see the puppy yet? Do you guys need to see K uh, KB, King Boss, before we get started? Come here, you little stinker. Come here, come on, come, come, come. So, <clears throat> um, 
I dropped a really amazing offer yesterday and it's good through today. And then on the other side of that offer, and I want you to really consider that offer if anybody has any questions, ask me. Um, it is coming through a, like an extension of what we started with Money Loves Me. Uh, and I, I feel that there's something that I got down is magnetism. <laughs> I can draw in stuff. I have a lot of other areas to learn um, and that I share as I learn them. And magnetism and drawing in and being clear enough to draw in what you're calling in. There's a whole process to it. I've been learning so much about it and it's it, I've been activating into new levels. There's Etta, hey honey. Etta gets her reading soon because she signed up. I can't wait to. You totally felt it, you felt the channeling. I know, when you're in my containers and I deliver these new um, audios, they, you guys feel the, like Donna would feel without even having to hear the audio. And then when you hear the audio, you experience a whole nother level. So I've got another container coming through in. It's, it's um, magnetic and abundant as fuck. So that's why the title of this live stream is this, and this is the beginning of it. I've delivered this new uh, you know, audio that's coming through, and then what happens is more and more stuff comes through for this container. And those of you who feel this, like you know that you would love to increase your magnetic and abundant as fuck vibes, say me, I want to do this, and you will be included in the container from free to investing. Obviously, when you invest, it's gonna be a whole different level of depth. And talking about depth, I feel like that's what these eclipses are for, is to go into the depths of ourselves. And that's why it feels so dark and strange. It's like you get completely submerged in your past and in your old vibes that you'd forgotten about. And they feel so jarring, because it's like, what, I'm not doing that shit anymore. What is going on here? And it's an opportunity to see it and release it. I've been talking about this in the previous days. And so this recording takes you through that process and up and out of it and far beyond it. And how many of you are feeling like far beyond, hey Gina, the, the, what you released last week in these, you know, I see some of you commenting on my feed about how you, it was a shit show. I know Lily was like, it's a shit show. And I'm like, ain't no shift show without a shit show, right? Like you have to be willing to go to the depths of yourself and witness all of you in order to integrate it and to, in order to ask, ask for what you want, be clear, and to receive what you, you're being guided to. There's so many tangled webs of guilt and shame and fear and resistance and all these things. And uh, there's so many different ways to see it, but really it's just a process of deciding and clearing and getting into it. And abundant, magnetic and abundant, and fuck is this feeling you have when you're super clear you're super connected, you feel alive, you feel fabulous, and you can't help but, like when I went to Hollywood the other night, I had people just grinning and smiling at me and opening doors for me, and they were just ready to give me the world. I had, and at the jazz club, the man, he was calling me princess. I was like, well, I'm a queen really, honey, but okay. <laughs> um, but I was just grinning from ear to ear and feeling that energy and feeling that energy being reflected back to me. And when you're in this state of being, you do receive. You receive everything. And when you receive everything, because you're in this state of being, you're super gratitude. And is he doing funny stuff? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here, cutie. Look how cute he is. Ah, oh, look. Everybody loves this puppy. Whenever I go, anybody. Look. Look at the camera. You want to see? Look. Oh. Come here. What are you chewing? <laughs> Yes. Are you chewing? Look what I got. I got this really cool little thing to wear. Come here. Come and get in here. It's hot though. Come here. Do you have to go pee pee? Oh, it's like having a baby all over again. Hey, Angel. Come here. You can go pee pee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Talk about raising vibration. This puppy is just like raising the vibes on me. But I bet he needs to go pee. He doesn't. Come here. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna, come here. <laughs> I love it. All right, if he's settling down, he's okay. King boss for the, for the win. He's just a doll, and he slept with us last night, and he's cool. And he's, you know, he's doing his potty training. So, who is ready to receive this activation? I know some of you already said I accept. I'm, it's just gonna be an instant. I'm just going to allow um, whatever your higher self wants to come through in this moment. 
If you feel this activation, you feel the energy and the frequencies begin, recognize that you are open to my channel frequency and you should be interested as fuck in the magnetic and abundant as fuck container that I'm bringing forward to you. It'll be coming in the next few days. And this is the official first announcement. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This container is here for you. And, and now we're gonna let it come into being. We already have the first recording and now you know we can take it in pieces or you could dive all the way in and know that this is for you and you're gonna ride this ride. Okay, Laurel? Yes, Lee? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get my crystals really fast. I want this transmission to really come through. I hope you will entertain. Are you gonna entertain the Valtonian TV? So what we're gonna do in this experience is we're going to, yes, everybody's ready. So what we're gonna do is a combination of, um, it's, it's all about, I'm receiving your frequencies and, and you're going to recognize within me something of yourself that you wanna rise up within yourself. It may not be a conscious knowing, it may just be a feeling, and ooh, we're clearing some energy already. And so I'm gonna use light language and toning. If anybody, most of you that are on the feed, I know you know what light language is. But I'm trying to introduce the concept, I'm, I'm not trying, I'm successfully introducing the concept of light language to you for those of you that also may not know what it is but are drawn in and are curious. Because this is part of how I work. And I'd like to be able to introduce to you um, the concept of how powerful it is to receive daily guidance from a, a, a channel and a medicine woman like me because you might get really stuck in your bullshit. <laughs> I have clients like Donna's giving me hearts right now who worked really hard for years on things and, they, and needed someone like me to come in and just resuscitate you back to your soul level. You know, there's something about my presence and these frequencies that come through. They're not just about me. They're about you and they're reflected for you. So we're gonna do a little toning to work on this chest energy. I know a lot of you yesterday were feeling uh, resistance in your chest. My clients, people were messaging me, people I tuned into in person. And that's a release of that pan panic and that survival mechanism. And you're definitely not gonna be magnetic and abundant as fuck if you're feeling all survival mode, you know? Can you feel me on that? Excuse me, there we go. So the first tone we're going to bring through is going to release us from the obligation and the fear on some level right now so you can get a taste of what it feels like to be free of the survival mode energy that's still resistant and hanging out in your chest. Are we ready? All right. <clears throat> and he's so good, he won't freak out. Right? Are you on the oracle cards? Yes. Why don't you get in the video so they can see you? They want to see you. All right. He got his nose when the camera's on. All right, take a deep breath. Put your feet on the ground. Let yourself be ready. I want to hear my word, my word, my All right, level one. Let it come through. Let me know how you're feeling. Now, some people are gonna feel a huge response to this right away because you're so empathic and you respond so powerfully to the sound frequencies. Some people <clears throat> aren't going to be aware of the shifts that happen and will feel the result a little bit later. Some people will just say, I don't know if that, you know, they won't notice what's happening and they won't decide to feel it, right? So let me know what you feel. We still have some energy in here and we're going to do a little bit more of the Tony. you smile and happy. Jennifer's feeling it. Ed is wow now cool. Loren says nice. I like it. Thank you. So the energy is starting to pop in the throat. So 
This is only a small part of what happens when you get your direct messaging with me and connection with me. Some of my clients are on the feed and they can tell you, but this happens to be the stuff that works the fastest with my clients. My clients will mess, like one of my clients messaged me yesterday and she'd been in sort of a pattern for a few days because we are going through this, you know, the eclipse. And I, I like to let my clients um, learn to come into their own resonance. I'm just here to, um, to assist on places where we might have a pattern that's really stubborn and stuck. And so sometimes this work can be, well, usually with your, my, one of my clients, this work will just shift you out of um, the old pattern of being and shift, you know, awaken your cells and um, activate light codes within you that support you. That all sounds so um, languagey. And I wanna be clear, what we're talking about is clarifying your resonance in your energy field and releasing negative vibrations Exactly, it puts you in the high vibe zone. Sound frequencies will go through you and clear out uh, what's meant to uh, come off of you that you might be hanging on to. You might feel attached and not know that there's some element of fear or uh, habitude that you're hanging on to. And that when you hear these sounds, like something goes and you're able to go, oh, hang on a minute and feel your highest resonance at least for a moment, if not a few days. And then from that place, you make a more inspired choice. That's what happens when you come into high vibrational containers, when you work with mentors who work regularly to come up into a space of clarity and connection, divine connection and energized vitality. You receive that as a reflection back to you and you desire this from me or somebody that you like to watch because it's you're there, you're seeing yourself in us, right? Yes. Everybody's feeling it. Woo! So if you're just joining, you're gonna to wanna to go back and see the beginning and, and receive these tones. This is just a little taster of um, some of the shifts that happen in my containers. We also have a lot of talking to describe how to get through um, different perceptions and beliefs. We, um, and everything comes through in the moment. So, you know, it's fun because we don't know exactly what's gonna happen when, when we're in our group and, if, you know, your crown is raging and trying to stretch today. Yeah, you, you're gonna wanna hear this new recording that came through. It was a lot of amazing stuff coming through the crown. It was good. It was really good. So, uh, who, how do you guys feel now? And let's do a community reading with this energy now. Yes. So if you guys missed it, I do have one offer that ends today. It's 11-11 and it's light language like this in your inbox every day for 30 days. You don't get me for that price one-on-one, -on -one, but this is a special um, experience that I was called to do. I feel like there's somebody out there that really um, benefits from the power of my voice and channel and is busy and needs a, an, an interrupt and an energizing boost every day. Imagine every day having me tune in with you and assess your magnetic and abundant uh, as fuck or not energy and send you <laughs> a two minute thing to listen to and also you know, energetically, frequency wise. The hearing part is only part of the experience. Me actually tuning in with you is huge. So every day you have this daily presence and connection to, your, to the divine and to clear the with sound frequencies and mindset tips and whatever comes through for that day. Can you imagine after 30 days, you will be abundant and magnetic as fuck. Oh my God. So I can't wait to see. Look at these cards that just came jumping out. I can't wait to see who, who wants to join in that container. It's really incredible. And it's only through today because that's how I was told to offer it. So look at this, the rebel. Who is still feeling that? Who, are, who is all my rebels, right? And, um, you know, we're disrupting and changing things with this way of being, with our, our choice to live into our limitless potential instead of settling for uh, the, you know, probabilities. We're going into the possibilities. And so we're doing this by being conscious of our body and how we feel, how we move, how we breathe, how we be. That's, it's everything. 
Look at this. We got the love card. The love card, of course, every, I'm clearing the energy now. There we go. The love card, everything comes from love. And one of the most powerful things that I keep learning more and more deeply that shifts me into my most magnetic and abundant spot state is to, to lean deeper and deeper into love and to forget the fear, right? Fuck the fear, find your flow. And it's true, you know, what you think about, what you feel, what you decide is what happens. I just can't say that enough times. And it's not a tiny percent or half percent. It's all the way in or all the way not. It's, it's about belief and faith. And you can work and work your ass off and make little tiny headway, but if you're not fully believing, then you're actually giving mixed signals to yourself and others. And that's what this work can support with, is to get that clarity. Because the clarity and the decisiveness is what creates the manifestation, along with all the other stuff, right? So this is the uh, indecision card, right? I love that. So we have the love card, sandwiched. In between the love cards is the uh, indecision card, right? And that's been my hold up these years. You watch me growing and changing rapidly. I mean, I'm really kind of hard on myself. I think I'm fucking kicking ass. And why don't I come on here and tell you that I won the lottery or scratch your tickets or whatever? I mean, I did actually manifest a large amount of money, but um, why isn't it always happening consistently the way blah? because of my faith and my fear and my indecision. Because I, there are times when I'm super clear and that's when you'll see a big expansive boom and then there's times when I, mm, I, maybe I have another lesson to learn or something and I don't give it all my love and I'm sending mixed signals and I'm not clear. And so then I, I don't experience the result that I desire. And the result that I desire is pleasure. <laughs> We're to follow our desires. We're to follow our dreams. We're to follow our pleasure uh, in aligned, sacred focus, you know? How is all that for you? That was good. All right, let's pull into these other cards. This is a good a stream of energy today, right? Oh, let's do the little watch party thing to get some more peoples on here. All right. Yes, baby. Look, he went right to sleep. That tone, I think, I think that toning like knocked puppy out. Can you see him? He's all curled up in his little bed over there. He's the best, I'm so blessed. <gasps> Look at the card that popped up when I glanced down. Yes, Colin and soulmates. Soulmate clients, soulmate love, soulmate playdates, all the soulmates, right? Yes, ooh, look at this. Rest and relaxation and the solar plexus chakra. If you're feeling tight and compromised in your boundaries and your sense of self, you're still in this like eclipse energy and you wanna keep going deeper within to go in and, this is what I talk about in the recording and I do it with you, and go in and unplug those places where you're still attached, where you're still holding on to old situations and people, places, and things. How many of you wanted to cut something loose this year and you're still fighting it or having a trouble with it? or wanted to shift a bad habit, or wanted to do something that you knew would be good for your, um, sorry, I just got a text. That, that, you know, like I've had clients quit smoking, quit pills, quit bad relationships. I've left friendships and relationships that weren't working for me. Um, I've let bad habits go from certain things I do in my business to health things, Laurel. Laurel, do you want to share with us what you're shifting? Sarah's doing it. She's shifting the bad habit. Oh, and here was the card again. Oh, yes, I receive. I receive. Uh, yes. Talk to me. Procrastinating. Well, we've talked about procrastination before, haven't we, Sarah? What do you think? Uh, see, I, I always challenge you because I know it's good for you. 
What do you think that the <laughs> procrastination is about? Hi, Sue. Hi, Myra. Hey, Debbie. Hey, AJC. Connie. Hi, everybody. Laurel is shifting to self-care. Okay. And you're having, are you having a uh, resistance to doing the self-care? Are you, what's your resistance? Do you not know what to do? Do you not want to sit still? Do you not want to take the time? Talk to us, Laurel. Let's, oh, a bad relationship. Okay. Okay, bad relationship. Okay. So you want to, you want to shift the bad relationship and yeah. Yeah, you need the self-care from the bad relationship. Okay. So I know about that. I did a lot of that over the last few months. And uh, sometimes when we're unplugging that, from that stuff, it can feel so scary because part of us is dying. And I remember, um, you know, as I was channeling Clean Slate Clear Vision in the January eclipse, I had decided to release um, a couple, it's three, there were three or four relationships, friends and other, you know, that were just really felt unfair and imbalanced where I wasn't honoring myself. And that's an old story of mine that I certainly don't want to repeat, right? And if, if I see that being reflected back to me in my life now, instead of the old days where I would just carry on and not know what to do, now I can see it for what it is and I can choose to shift out of that so that I, I don't stay in that energy. But as I was going into the, um, the eclipse in January, I was like, I really need to end these. And I had that sinking feeling of, am I going to let myself down again? Hi, Diane. Welcome. It's good to see you, honey. Um, you spent all your time taking care of him, and now I'm not sure how to take care of me. I feel you on that. I feel you. I, because when I got out of my, my divorce, I was here by myself for the first time. I just, like, lost my shit for a few months. I'm not going to lie, you know? You can go back and watch my videos and see my puffy face where I was crying. And that's okay, you know? It's okay to cry and go through some turmoil when you shift out of old relationships. There's a lot of disconnection that needs to happen and detachment. But the more you can work with energy and um, really not allow that old energy pattern to continue creating new timelines in your life. Can I say that with more lightning bolts so y'all hear me? Like, fucking cut off the growing the timelines from the old bullshit energy. Clear your shit as much, as quickly, as powerfully, as deeply, as lovingly, as compassionately as you can to the point where you're not just going, well, I sure hope I can fix this and I don't know what I'm doing and I'm confused. And, uh. No, fuck that. Get a grip. Get a hold of yourself. I shifted out of that bad shit and learning to take care of myself. I've never done this before, but I'm going to be baby leg walking and running before you know it. I may look like an ass right now. I may fall on my face, but I'm doing this. I'm doing this with focus and love and compassion and strength. And, uh, you know, it's happening. It's happening. Not, well, maybe, and I sure hope. Fuck that shit. Cut, cut that out. <laughs> Sarah says, I've had a lot of physical challenges pop up recently, so I feel a little bummed not to be able to accomplish all I want to and the pace my brain wants to. Brain and light speed, body being slow. Well, you know what, Sarah? That's where you are, right? So we have to surrender to where we are. And what I imagine for you is that there's a great lesson in there about your concept of doing versus being and how you need that you're so incredibly gifted and aware. Your beingness is your power, not your doingness. That's the lesson. I don't know how they can show that to you more powerfully. And so many of us don't want to accept that lesson because we've been taught to do that the way to get results is to power through things and to, you know, just like mind over matter. But the matter that you receive comes from your mind. So be the bee, not do the do. Like, I don't know, that, that didn't finish the way I wanted it to, but you feel me, Sarah? Thank you, Diane, I'm happy to see you too. Um, Laurel says, yes, love it. Just do it, people. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, well, you know, I'm yelling at myself as much as you guys because I've done this to myself. And it's so funny because I learned the same lessons over and over again with different mentors. And I'll go back and watch my live stream from one and two years ago and I'm saying the same lesson I learned from the mentor that day. And I'm like, what's going on here? We keep forgetting. We keep forgetting who we are. 
we forget our soul standards. We forget it's our mind. It's, a, it, it's about integration. And when our body, mind, and being, and soul, and all of that is in a balanced, magnetic, and abundant as fuck state of being, all that stuff communicates properly, and the frequencies flow through us, and we pull in what we need, and we reject what isn't, and it's just this beautiful thing. So our desire is to get into that state of being so that our energy matches our desires. Not the other way around, like, oh, let me work really hard and create this stuff and then I'll feel good. No, you need to feel good and then you're going to like have a whole different result, a set of ideas, a whole different set of feels, a whole different set of people, a whole different set of being. And I've experienced this over and over again and I, I, it's so powerful. Hey, Laura. Laura knows. Hi, Sue. Laura did Dream Like a Boss with me and I mean within, before she even started doing the exercises, was shifting into a new state of being and um, did the hard work of getting over some ideas of service and, uh, um, you know, sacrificing herself in ways that wasn't benefiting her or her clients. And when she took that stand for self-care and loving herself and taking good care, suddenly the old clients magically sort of slipped away and new clients came in that were paying more money and that were more aligned to her new state of being, right? Who feels me on this? Who feels me on this but haven't experienced it enough yet or are inconsistent or, or want to have a question about how to come up into that vibration? Like, what you got for me? So I've got these um, sacred uh, rebel cards. And since we got the rebel card, I thought, well, let's pull a sacred rebel card. Lara says, yes. Yeah, you like leveled up so rapidly in that experience. I'd love, love to hear how it's going now, how, you, how you're able to carry that forward. You know, is it staying? Donna says, I feel you. Yeah, baby. Donna too. Donna like really shifted magically. And like Etta just signed up for the, the bundle. And before she'd even started doing the work, she got like three new job offers and they're counter offering each other after months of stagnate or weeks or something of stagnation, right? You need to do it with the family, right? So see, you learn something that you can now take into other areas of your life. See, I love that. I love it. Puppy is passed out from that tone, right? <laughs> All right, so look at this. Oh my God, it's exactly what I just told you guys. Inspiration and bring it into form. You don't bring it into form without having it in your inspiration first. And the energy of your inspiration will be the creation that you allow. You feel me? All right. What time is it? Ooh, I gotta talk to Edda in 10 minutes. So, um, I love today's stream. I really love it beautifully. If you know that you're ready at the next end of next 30 days to be in a completely much more magnetic and abundant as fuck state of being, to be in this vibrational container every day and have me not only lovingly, but also kick-assingly, really just sending you daily, a two minute to whatever, whatever comes through, light language, toning, shifting. I feel a lot of energy here. I have the container for you. You can look at, you can message me. It's 11-11 for 30 days. There's only one spot and it's done. I'm not advertising it after today. This is just a divine stream coming through. This is the only time you'll be able to get the, in this way. Um, and then I'm gonna be bringing through this magnetic and abundant and magnetic as fuck container. Uh, however it comes through, and the recording that I channeled today will be available too. Who's excited about which thing? Put it in the comments. And those of you that are in the Abundant and Awakened Empath group, um, I will pop on a little bit later uh, to see if you guys are around in the evening so we can do a, or just a special reading inside of that group. So um, thank you so much for coming today, Janet, Yvonne, Donna, Diane. Uh, Sarah, going up the street, let's see, Laurel, Ames, um, who else was here? Leah, Leah, let me help, you know. Yeah, it feels fabulous. Good for you. I'm looking at some of these comments. Yes, keep going. Stay the course, back to yourself, okay? It's so great to be with you guys today, and I'm sure I'll be back on tomorrow. Um, Oh, your frequency supernova. There's nobody like you. Bring the magnetic and abundant as fuckness. And if you don't know how or you're not sure, that's what I do. Okay? I love you too. Bye, honey. See you next time.